I am here with uh, John, Director of Digital Social Shopper Marketing from ConAgra. What gets you most excited about what is enabled by the technology changes that we're seeing? I get most excited about the ability to drive a business result using the technology, and I get even more excited about um, leveraging some sort of insight to drive it. So when you can put together a great strategy with an insight and then use technology to bring it to life, um, you're having fun, there's no doubt about it. Tell me a little bit about how you and the folks at ConAgra are leveraging um, the technology to get at better customization and the consumer's needs. We have a, a number of programs and we, we try to use the right technology for the right program. So it's not always necessarily to throw, necessary to throw every piece of technology at every brand, every program. It's about matching the right level. Um, and people have different expectations for uh, different brands and different experiences in different channels. And so again, it's about really thinking through what what is the best optimal, and by optimal I mean the balance of benefit for the retailer, benefit for the person buying it, benefit for the CPG, that best meets the needs of all three. And if that is you know, a really fancy technology that just blows their mind, that's great. If it's a shelf hanger, that's great. What really matters at the end of the day is to meet those needs in the smartest possible way. What is your perspective on the Beacon technology? Uh, my, my perspective on Beacon is it's gonna have to be retailer-led. Um, we, can, we can bring some ideas, but you're really dealing with in-store operations. And in-store operations is, uh, you know, there's a lot going on for the in-store operations teams. And we're gonna have to work with marketing and merchandising to help build the story um, to, so that the retailers in-store operation folks see the benefit to, to putting the work into, into installing beacons and managing that experience. I know what we can't do is start throwing beacons every three feet, uh, linear feet down an aisle, have it start to talk to the app for the retailer and all of a sudden just blow up the, the cell phone of, of the shopper. That's just not going to work. And so it's really going to have to, retailers are going to have to think about what their strategy is for going to market with it and then get their in-store operation folks on board to help them with that. What guidance would you have for marketers within your own team or, you know, those coming up and kind of seeing the technology and going, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, how do we prevent ourselves from crossing that yeah. line where we're too intrusive and Absolutely. Um, piss off um, yeah. people we are trying to deliver great products to? If the word, and, and I don't mean to be funny, but if the word cool pops into your head, that should actually be a red flag. You, If you're starting with cool, you're probably in trouble. Um, technology should follow strategy and insight. And so don't ever start with technology. Um, in fact, start with the, the business, business problem you need to solve, the insight you have, and then frankly, find the lowest tech, simplest solution you can find to solve that problem. And if that's a you know, high-end technology, that's what it is. Um, but uh, don't start with the technology.